going live. Good Thursday morning, friend. We're going live right off the bat. You know what? I've really, 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 really gotten addicted to coming in here, grabbing my phone, and just going live. Hell, I went live three times yesterday. Did you know that, Kathleen? We went live three different times. So maybe you're on your way to work. Maybe uh, you're ignoring me. Maybe... Uh, Maybe you just can't speak right now, but good morning, Emily Daniel. Thank you for getting on here. A few people have uh, sent us in some questions, and I'm I'm going to answer them. Cousin Charlie, would you? Cousin Charlie is trying to become me. I don't know if you guys saw that yesterday. Curtis Gaines, go Steelers, my man. How have you been this uh, this Saturday, Curtis? If you and your family want to come to our movie event, it's Case and Lane. Be there about 9.45. we got three movies. It's, it's, it's the old Jackson I'm sorry. Heights. It's at Jackson Heights. Hell, I'm telling everybody the wrong thing. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I want you there. So uh, this morning, hey, Big A. Hey, my other best friend, Adam Wright, he's starting to do Facebook Live. I don't know if you saw him on there this morning, but now he's trying to be me. He's trying to take over me. This morning, I am going to get to the point. So uh, I'm answering questions. I think I've got about three or four of them. I don't know what they are, so I may look like a complete idiot when somebody asks me, but I don't care. But I do want to talk about one thing. As I was driving into work this morning, every single morning, I call my good buddy, Tim Dutton. Every single morning. Do you know why I call Tim Dutton every single morning? It's your routine. Mm. Do you have a guess? I was going to say routine. Routine, routine. No, that is not why uh, I call him every single morning, but good guess. I call Tim Dutton every morning because he's one of my mentors. Tim Dutton has knowledge that I want. He's got information that I want. He's a, he has had success that I want to achieve. Whose responsibility is it to get that guy's information? Whose responsibility is it to make the habit, as my kids up here saying, to call Tim Dutton every single morning? I leave the diner at 7.35 to make sure he's anticipating it. So this morning, hey, Will Webb, good morning, friend. This morning was no different. Now, he blew me off when I called, but I was talking to him. I said, Tim, the reason why I call you every single morning is because you know things that I want to know. You have information that I want to know. I can sidestep a lot of pitfalls just by having conversations. That is why you need a mentor. Mentors probably won't come seeking you out and say, hey, Cousin Charlie, I want to, I want you to do this and I want more work because I want to help you. That's probably not the way it's going to work. So don't expect that. If you want a mentor, if you want if you want information from people, it's your job to seek them out. It's your job to get inconvenient and go out and chase them. If they like you, they're going to help you. If they don't like you, they'll avoid you. Hey, Coach Key, Rod Keys. Hey, Rod Key, I ran my two miles in 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Still a little slow, but I want to go a little bit faster. So everybody, the main reason I can think of for a mentor is because they have probably done things at a higher level than you have done. If I need a coach for my body, it's Rod Key. He can help me. That's, you know, I can accomplish a, a cousin Charlie. Hey, you can accomplish a lot more if Rod Key is sitting there challenging you every day. I'm serious. Yes. And what I have found by having a wellness coach, it does not end at wellness. No. It parlays into other parts of my life. It helps my habits. It helps me do more. It helps me take more action. So now I'm going to start answering questions. I think we've had some questions that have come in. Cousin Charlie, Kathleen, weatherman. Hey, 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 the weatherman is in here. So who's got the first question? How do you find your mentor? Oh, Kathleen said, I'm how do you find? Me. I think she asked this question. <laughs> okay, I think the first thing that you do if you want to find a mentor is you seek out somebody that you want to be like. Maybe not exactly like them in their field, but you won't. I'm very, very, very passionate about getting around high achievers. So I like to get proximity to somebody like Shane Reeves. Do you know who Shane Reeves is? I do know Shane Reeves. Shane Reeves. I like to get around Michael Burt. I like to get around Tim Dutton, Joey Richardson, John Jones, 
John Floyd eats breakfast. I go out of my way to make sure I'm around these people. But it starts with identifying targets. You got to know these people that you want to go after. I go to lunch every Wednesday with this group of nerds. Scott Abernathy, Joe Havener. They're the biggest damn nerds I know. We sit there and we talk about things I don't understand. Things I don't want to understand. But they've got a very, very high IQ, which helps me. It helps me think at a higher level. So does that help you, caller? Great. Kathleen, I know that's your question. Cousin problem. Charlie, I think you had a few other ones. I do. So Shane wants to know. Shane. Shane do, Reeves? Is it Shane Reeves? It is not Shane Reeves. It's not Shane Reeves? Is it okay. How, how do you stay positive every day? How do you keep your engine going? How do you stay positive? How do you keep your engine going? I think it really comes down, for me, now I'm just going to say this based off me, it always is dependent upon the main influences in my life. So if I'm around, if I'm around highly positive, inspired people, it may it pulls me up a little bit. So when I'm around those kind of people, it holds me accountable. I reflect back at myself and I'm like, well, I gotta be doing this. If not, I'm letting myself down. I'm letting them down because I want them to hold me to those expectations. But I've talked about this a few times in the past week, cousin Charlie. I think a lot of times People, they want to wait until they feel like it's a time. They want to wait until they feel like it. They want to wait until they're in a good mood. I think you've got to go ahead and make the decision before you get there. Make the decision. Don't even allow your, your emotions to play a part of this. Make a decision and then allow your emotions to catch up with that, what that decision is. So for me, I'm working out six days a week. I know I'm fat as hell right now. Looking in here, and I got these chins going on, and I hate that. I've got to do something about that. It's something where I'm telling myself, you don't get to eat what you want until Saturday. And on Saturday, I get to eat whatever and drink whatever I want to do, Cousin Charlie. The other days, it's already planned out. I don't even, my mind does not get to pick what I'm going to eat. It's going to be something nasty. It's going to be something plain. What else? Do we have any other... I thought we had three. There is one. There, there's one more. What else we got, Cousin Charlie? How do you fight through fear? How do you fight through fear? Some, some fears are just hard to fight through. You know, like for me, who asked that question? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> Kathleen keeps asking all the questions. I thought Cousin Charlie had three questions over there. Shane, uh, Lisa. <laughs> how do you fight through fear? It's hard. I mean, some things, but it, like for me, I'm terrified of flying. I don't know if I'm ever going to get over that, but I just do it. I get drunk first. <laughs> alcohol really helps me get over that for some reason. I can I can drink a lot of alcohol, then I'll fly anywhere. I mean, if Brittany Renee got me drunk and said, hey, we're getting on a plane to go to Australia, I would probably do it sober. Uh-uh, I ain't going to do it. But a lot of things I'm afraid of, what I have found is the moments leading up to that fear far outweigh what actually happens. The only thing you got to fear is fear itself. Who said that? FDR. Hey, Mom has a question. How do you bounce back from a setback? You got to talk to yourself. She asked. Shawan asked. How do you? How do you? Uh, how do you overcome setbacks? Well, setbacks are something you've got to have good bounce back. So when something doesn't go your way, your mind tells you how to feel about something. I'm sorry. Your emotions tell you how to feel about something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll tell you, it, a lot of times it's your past perceptions that are telling you how to feel about something, okay? Well, you've got to eliminate your emotions talking to you, and then you've got to start talking to yourself. Like right now, I can make the decision. Right now, I'm going to go out and do something. My mind did not give me, or my emotions didn't have time to make that decision. I'm just saying, I'm going to go do this. So, bounce back. You've got to, you've got to train. That's a muscle. It's just like how you run. Kathleen, you're up to, what, 18 miles at a time now? I mean, you can run a long way. Well, what are the muscles that are required to help get you to run that far? Well, there's a lot of muscles, and it's a lot of it's in your mind. Well, well bounce back, overcoming setbacks, is a, it's a mental muscle. It's an emotion where you've got to uh, where you've got to toughen up. Stephen Weather straight from the get tonight at seven o'clock. I don't know what I'm going to talk about just yet. You know what I'm thinking about talking about tonight? Why you need to force yourself to save money, then pay your bills oh, instead of pay. Well, no, you got to force yourself to save before you spend, before you even pay other 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 people. Hey, Blake Kelly, what's up? Do we have one more question? 
Got one more question here, and this is from a Jim. Jim? Jim. Jim emailed this in. He did. What is it? What is it? What Jim is it? wants to know. You seem like the type of guy that does not do a lot of planning sometimes, but what you do is successful. Do, are you a planner and you don't show it, or do you just jump in head first? Jim, I don't like that question. You're picking on. You're picking on me. Uh, do I plan like I should? No. Would I be more successful if I planned? Yes, so I've got these vague plans in my mind that I do. I'll, I'm a I'm a very habitual. Is that the right word? Where I do the same things every single morning. I wake up before five o'clock every single morning. I'm out the door at five thirty six every single morning. I'm eating breakfast at the same place every single morning at seven thirty six. I'm calling or seven thirty seven. I'm calling Tim Dutton every single morning. I'm trying to get it. So it's like such a pattern. Now, there's other things I need to be doing that, that would greatly enhance my efforts that I'm not doing. And the reason why I'm not doing it is I'm not forcing myself to think about that stuff. I'm not forcing myself to commit the action. Hey, everything begins with the thought, the desire, and then you got to follow it up with the action. Do we have anything else you'd like to talk about? This was good. I appreciate this. But hey, I want everybody on here to be aware of... of it's your responsibility if you want a mentor in your life. Everybody out here could use somebody that is performing, excelling at a higher level than you are. There's a lot of people in my life, save dessert for last, wait longer and get two cookies later instead of one. Now we're talking about instant gratification right there, Blake Kelly. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate that comment right there, Kelly Appleton. How are you doing, girl? We found Junie Lamb, my cousin. Hey, my favorite cousin is on here, Tina. She's my favorite cousin, Cousin Charlie. Have a question for GTT. Oh, send it. Stephen Weathers is on here asking that question. Okay. <laughs> Weather man. I don't boy, Weather man. So, hey, every day, I told Kathleen this. I hope she doesn't listen, but every day is an interview for your next job. I hope, <laughs> hope she ain't out there interviewing, but that in life. Every day you're auditioning for something bigger. Every day you're tr you're you're trying to get somebody's attention. Every single day. For us, co cousin Charlie, it may be more prospects. Hey, could be you doing something different. If you did, we'd probably cut your throat. But hey, go ahead and try. <laughs> but every day you need to take the mindset that I'm going to get better. Every single day, because a lot of people, if you're, what do you know? Maybe tonight on straight from the gut, I already do. What if you're stuck in a dead end job? Because people, I think they th a lot of times people are let's 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 say me. I I think permanently in every situation. This is it forever. I don't know if other people now now I fight through that thought. But whenever I people are looking at jobs or they've got a dead end job, I think a lot of times they're 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 helpless. They don't know how to get to the next job. What they start doing, I think, is they start looking for their next job. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They start identifying their next job. Well, they're not really enhancing their skills to go to be able to be a real candidate for that job. So I think you got to improve your skills. If you improve your skills, no matter what job you're doing, no matter what it is, if you improve, really think about this. Think about this. If you would improve your communication slash sales skills everything else in your life would get easier. I'm going to end on that right there. If you will improve, Cousin Charlie is now my Facebook friend. You better watch out. Granny is about to have a new favorite. Cousin Charlie, you have stole my cousin Tina. How did you do this? Poor Cousin Charlie. Get blamed for everything. <laughs> All right, kids, unless we've got any... You know what? I could do this show every morning and call it Drive Time with GTT. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Roy Frazier yeah. would not like that. Yeah. Drive Time. Where it's just like a call-in talk show. I want to be your talk show in the morning where we're talking about things. Who thinks that'd be a good idea? We can get on here and be crack right. How can we make it bigger? Could everybody help me? Could everybody help me every morning, 8.30 to 9, we just have a little drive-in talk show where we're talking about life. We're talking about, hey... We can even talk about all my screw-ups. Ain't that right, Cousin Tina? We can talk about all the... Because, you know, uh, some of the best lessons I've ever learned are from from me personally messing up or seeing other people mess up. So I think that'd be a really cool idea. 
I would love it if we could get like thousand people on here. Yeah. Ja, drive time. Yeah, is that a great idea, That's cousin? A good Tommy? idea. Are you gonna try to take credit for it and tell my cousin Tina it was your idea? <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, my message for today. It's your responsibility to identify targets we're gonna call mentors. It's your responsibility to get proximity to these people. It's your responsibility to tell them this is what I want from you. It's your responsibility to make it so easy on them to deliver this to you. You can't make your mentor inconvenienced. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to them and want to know what they know, what they've done, how you can help me, and make it inconvenient on them. It's got to be where they don't mind doing it. It's got to be so simple that you can do it. So everybody, have a great day. And remember, remember this. You are in control of what you're going to do today for the most part. Let's just say you are totally in control of what you're going to do. Is it always going to work out like that? No, but this is more of a mindset. You should tell yourself, this is what I'm going to get done today. Everybody, have a great day.